Hello everybody, my name is Sam. And I'm Angela. And this is not going to be a scripted video, so it's going to be different for us. We are going to shoot this one vlog style. We have the GoPro, so the audio is probably going to be junk, but we're going to try and keep this simple as possible because otherwise this is the kind of stuff we don't film and we thought it'd be kind of cool to do this. Yeah. Basically take it on, well, you tell them what we're going to do. We're going to show you a day in our life. Bum, bum, bum. We're already halfway and, through the day, though. <laughs> and as Sam said, like non-scripted life. We're not set to do a certain thing. We're kind of yeah, there's, working on cars. Yeah. And... <laughs> yeah, today's not a project day, per se, like one thing. This is kind of what happens between the more polished videos on our channel. Yes. We've got the element here behind us. The name of the game for what I'm trying to do today is actually adjust the valves on it, which is a pretty in-depth motor procedure but it has a check engine light on that i think is traced to the valves being adjusted um so i'm gonna do that but we've also got some things we're expecting to be delivered big things like 500 pound things so that would be interesting like pallet size yeah literally a pallet so we'll show you guys that and if you do anything we'll show you that too Every good mechanic project starts with a pair of natural gloves. Keep your hands clean. Okay, we're not gonna drag you th guys through this. This isn't a how-to, but this is what we're starting with. Let's do something and we'll see you guys when we actually do something. We got all the covers and wires and tubes out of the way. So now we have to take off the actual valve cover, which is the most we have to take off, I guess. That big thing. See what I did there? I handed you the camera so I get to have the fun. Yep. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> All right, we finally got it broken loose. I just had to get up here and really just literally manhandle it. But I'll give Angela the pleasure of taking the valve cover gasket off. Can I really? Or valve cover off. Just pull it straight up. Straight I'm up. trying. Straight up now. Tell me, are you going to move the valve cover gasket? Oh, oh, oh. That's the inside of an engine. <laughs> People are not here for my singing skills. It's pretty. You're here. I, thank you. I do sing pretty, don't I? There we go. Overhead cam. That's what these two things are. Intake, mm -hmm. exhaust, manifold, camshafts. They run the valves. These are our lobes. That's what the rollers ride on. Here are the tubes for the spark plug. So one, two, three, four. And this is the intake side and exhaust because intake and manifold, look, exhaust some of manifold. The stuff is getting inside of it. Yeah, we need your blue shop vac. Would also be on the technically be on the base circle. Through my experience, I have just. There's a look at how we learn how to do things when we want to learn how to do them. We watch it on YouTube. This is Eric the Car Guy. I'll put. Um, well, I don't know. This isn't really an element how-to video, so if anybody's looking how to do this on an element, they're probably going to find Eric's video before they air with ours, so whatever. I'm watching a video to make sure I learn how to get the cylinders at top dead center and adjust the valves. So when I figure that out, we'll show you guys something maybe, unless something else happens. Discovered that the best way to adjust the valves, at least for me. Has... All right, so I finished watching what I need to know from Eric, the car guy. Really cool channel on YouTube. If you've never seen his videos. Um, he's got a lot of stuff. He has a lot of stuff about Hondas, which has been really useful with us with the Element, but a lot of other videos. So, so one of the cool things about YouTube is you can have access to a master mechanic who usually will have exactly what you're doing on your vehicle and show you, and then you can do it yourself. So Eric showed me a cool trick because in my mind, I'm thinking, all right, well, I get down to the crankshaft. I got to be able to put a giant socket on this thing and actually turn the whole motor over. He said that if you take out the spark plugs, it releases the compression on the engine. Makes sense. Air just comes out the top. And then you just take a wrench, put it on your power steering pump, and just twist it there because the belts will spin everything. Awesome. Huge time saver. It means I can do this job standing up. Like, adjusting the valves on the element will be a stand-up job. So, that's good. We love that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my tools and stuff and check in with you in a minute. Sounds good. Just to finish adjusting the valves on the element, and that was zero fun zero fun at all leaning over and doing all that stuff on all let's see 16 valves took a while 
and uh, kind of will wreck your back. So there's two tools that one of our viewers actually sent us a long time ago from our wish list, and we finally got to use it today. Um, this is a special valve adjustment wrench. It's a 10 millimeter Mommy, socket. It's I just Where'd you put it? and he trapped it with a lego okay tell him hang on uh hang on i will it's okay underneath there it's not gonna move the lego <laughs> you'll have to take the camera in for that one ingenuity yeah um so this is a 10 millimeter wrench that you can break loose the nuts on the valves with that and then there's a flathead screwdriver inside you can see it there and that's how you adjust them um, in addition to this the uh, feeler gauges, these are long ones that are bent, super, super handy. These also come um, apart and you can thread on the exact size you need. So you're only done with one, so very cool. Thank you again to whoever got that to us or got that for us. Um, Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. As the dear friend says, I think you got some car tattoos on you right there. <laughs> I do. Gosh. Yeah, I got the valve. <laughs> that. Well, it shows you I have to lay on it as I'm doing everything on the back. So, ugh. But I think it's done. I kind of hate that it's one of those things we're not going to know until it's all back together whether or not I fixed it. <laughs> or there made it no, worse. <laughs> there is no difference or I ruined it. So, all right. I'm going to work on putting stuff back together after I think I double check them one more time. All right, you need to go find that tick you hit <laughs> under the Lego, apparently. So where's this tick at? Under here. Trapped Hold on, under let me Lego. see. Y'all even got a little window so you could see it. Yeah, I got an idea. We can use this or Lego and trap it. Isaac, what is this? A tick. How did it get inside these Lego windows? I just sit down and it was on him. And, and so you guys cover it with Legos real quick? Yeah. <laughs> I I hold it down and then I got a good pan to mash it together like a other trap. It looks great. It's like a little, I don't know, like an ant farm. You can see the bugs crawling around. <laughs> yeah. You went back? Yeah. I can. What? What are you going to do with it? I'm not letting go yet. What are you going to do with it? <laughs> Are you going to put it somewhere? I flush it down the toilet. Let's not take it back in the house. What do you want me to do with it? I don't know. I just I didn't want to hand it to him. Oh, here's all the parts to fix it. Done. One, two, three, snap. Does that stuff work? No, wait. Let's see. Oh, right here. Let's see if I can do some kind of cool video editing trick. One, two, three. It didn't work. Well, maybe I gotta say a magic word. Um, abracadabra, get it done. put everything back together don't know if it's fixed yet or not so let's start it up see if we notice a difference which i hope we don't 
hopefully I'll just run our code reader uh, code clear through the engine and then we'll have to drive it for a little while and then see if the check engine light comes back on it's kind of one of those annoying things also we can see if the element has any more power because she's feeling sluggish like <laughs> super sluggish and it needs light yes it does because we're planning on selling it ah shocker nah because we have that we have too many vehicles <laughs> they don't know about that we should probably tell them about that yeah yeah turn you in this video in this video we'll tell you about that you guys have already seen it don't get too excited first let's start the element and see you've already seen it see yeah they've seen it in videos background saw it just now i mean they totally saw it about a million degrees here we go it is running it is not clickety it is not blowing up so successful so far Okay, cylinder two misfire detected P0302. So same code we've always had. I'm going to click to erase. That was the only one? Yeah, it was just that one. Which the exhaust valves were off. They were way too tight on every cylinder. So maybe cross our fingers. Here we go. Well, I'm back from a little test run up the road, up the hill, and it seems fine, but honestly, it's going to be one of those things where just time will tell. So, what Angela's going to do next, well, I'm going to help her, is we're going to clean out the element. There's a little sneak peek of the flooring for the bathroom hallway in the house. That Renault's still going. Um, so, yeah, we're going to clean up the element and pretty much continue to work to get it ready to sell, but that's probably not going to be the focus of the rest of this video because we are still waiting for the special delivery. I even think of the company is called Special Delivery. She's focused on something else. Well, 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 the man in the white box truck just dropped us a big old pallet of something. Let's see what it is. Boys, you want to help me unpack this thing? Uh, yeah. Come on over. So do you have to take off? Yep, the black plastic, just pull it off. Ah! Hopefully in big pieces. All right, and put all that trash in the back of the van. I guess I'll start opening the doors. Oh boy. Set them to the side, and I'm gonna go up, unload the van. I'm gonna come down for a second. These aren't too heavy. No. These were for what mount on the wall? No, but I probably put. Mm. Did I told the screen turn off, and then I tapped I this it. One giant one. Yeah, this is what goes outside. It's nice though, a picture of an expensive fan. Yes, yeah. expensive fan. That's a good way of putting it. Whoa, I definitely couldn't carry that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. So we're switching to the element so that I can drive up in the backyard because the van did not make it. Because we're going to put all the large stuff on top of our picnic table that's under the outdoor kitchen. Look 
go down the bottom of the hill, turn around, and then take this big load up to the outdoor kitchen. Definitely not that one. I think I can fit one of these in. Actually, I can fit two of them. Oh, this is tempting me. Can I fit all of them in here? The big thing could ride on the tailgate. Ho oh, ho ho. Let's see. It is almost like Mr. Cool and the elements were made for each other. 27,000 BTUs of air conditioning in an element. <laughs> Let's haul it up the hill and hope we don't dump it off the tailgate. Oh yeah. Oh, elements like, yes, please. May I have some more Mr. Cools? Oh, we made it. Now let's just unload it. What do you think? Awesome. You know what those are? Air conditioner things? Mm-hmm, and heaters, all mm -hmm. in one. Cool. That's a pile of work. Not for today. Hey. Let's go park the element. Well, what did you think? What do you think of a day in the life of Sam and Angela? Green Acre Homestead. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, given we had a lot more happen today than some days, I mean, we don't always get a mountain, literal mountain of work, um, but it's kind of a... Hey, at least this work is going to cool us off. Yep, and then it'll heat us up. When and, needed. Yeah, in the winter time. <laughs> so that was cool to get to do all the stuff we did. But I mean, it's kind of like we what we do when we're not doing like one subject project day. We still do all kinds of subjects. <laughs> yeah, but just individual things like not really video worthy. So I did make soap and we have a bay rum and sandalwood. We're gonna do a little- Father's guess, Day special. Yeah. I'm trying to push you for that it's for Father's Day. It is. I think it's cool. And then the tobacco and bay leaf, which is a very nice masculine smell. Kind of goes along with the bay rum sandalwood type theme. Tobacco um, bay leaf was my oldest brother's favorite. He loved it. And when we quit making it, or you quit making it for whatever reason, I forget, he was very bummed out. So he'll be happy to hear we're bringing it back. So, and if it gets a really good reception, then we'll just have to add it back to our normal lineup. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, let us know down below. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll put this in the video that we did all that work to the element because we are fixing it. So if you're in the market for an element and you're near Western North Carolina, uh, look in the video description down below and I'll have the information or I'll have just that it's sold. So otherwise, I guess that's it. Sounds good. We'll see you guys next time on the homestead. Bye. Bye.